Resistive progression technique can be applied while the patient is walking, and in this technique, we will either apply approximation or resistance or stretch on the pelvis while the patient is walking. And we could apply a combination of these techniques. But let's start with one at a time. To apply these techniques, the therapist is standing next to the patient, uh, in front of the patient, or uh, behind the patient. And as the patient walks, the therapist will walk in a synchronized manner in a mirror image. So let's start with approximation. Start in first standing. Okay. So um, this will be the stance like due for the next step. And here, uh, approximation is applied on the stance leg with um, the hand placement of the therapist on the iliac crest, and we're trying to apply approximation force uh, as the other leg swings forward. So, uh, advance the right leg, and I'm applying approximation, okay? Now, this will be the uh, stance leg, so the approximation will be applied on this leg here. So, I do approximation and move forward, okay? And now for the next step, we will apply approximation here. Same thing could be done with backwards walking. So let's take one step back. So it's right standing. Okay. Now this will be, actually switch your legs, please. Okay. So this is the stance leg. And here, the uh, same hand placement. And take a step backward. Okay. And we apply approximation. Another step. And now approximation is on this leg here. Next, we will apply resistance. Resistance in um, resistive progression in walking will be applied on the advancing leg. So here we will be working on the swing leg. In the coming step here, the left leg will be in the swing phase. So with hand placement on the pelvis slightly anterior this time, and the therapist standing next to the patient in mirror image. Okay, I want you to take a step forward, okay? And I provide resistance on the pelvis for the swing leg. Now, for the next leg, take a step forward, okay? And now I'm applying resistance on the other leg. Same thing, you're moving backward. So I move my hand placement to backward. And okay, take a step backward with your right leg. And I resist. Now left leg. And I resist. And we keep going like that. Another way to apply resistance during resistive progression is to use an elastic band or like a belt. So um, this can be applied on the patient's pelvis and we could apply it with moving forward or backward. Let's do it forward. So I turn around and we'll walk now towards the window. We will apply the belt around your, uh, your pelvis, okay? And now uh, take a step forward, stand inside standing, okay? Okay, so the first step Zaid will take is going to be with his left leg. So I will provide resistance with my left arm. So move forward and I resist. Okay, now the right leg, move it forward and I resist with my right leg. And we keep going like that. We should notice when applying resistance um, during all types of resistive progression and in particular through the elastic band that the amount of resistance we provide is not high that causes the patient to lean forward against the resistance. Because the whole goal of this technique is to encourage normal walking pattern. And in normal walking, the trunk should be upright, so we should not encourage forward, uh, leaning forward. Uh -huh. The third technique we could apply in resistive progression is a quick stretch. And just like resistance, quick stretch is applied on the swing leg. So here, the next step will be taken with the left leg. And um, just like always, quick stretch is applied immediately before the movement. So as the patient plans to move, or we could synchronize it with the order, we do a quick stretch. So uh, move forward, take a step. Okay. Another step. And another. Okay. Let's move one step backward. Okay. Now we could apply it also moving backward. So here the next step will be with the right leg. Okay, so take a step backward, another step, and another, and we keep going like that.